Hey YouTube, this is Brett, Solo Old Hammer Gaming. Uh, got my rig today for my um, holding my camera. So I'm just going to do a quick video and show you guys how I do my banners. Um, very simple, very easy. Um, anyone can do it. You don't even need to be able to draw. So you will need a few things though. Um, you will need the design that you that you want. Um, I just downloaded these from um, the internet. Uh, got these off of um, Foundry War Games um, off the miniature site there. I think these are by um, Ian Heath. And uh, yeah, so he printed these off. So you just need the design that you want. You will need some thermograph paper. Now thermograph paper is a bit different in that it's used in the tattoo industry to put the design on the skin before you start tattooing. So this will go through it. And you will also need either some green soap or uh, roll-on deodorant. Now the deodorant and the soap has to be green. It must be green for it to react with the paper but um, so the first thing you need to do now I don't know how easy this is going to be to do this stuff in the way but you take the design that you want so I'm gonna I'm gonna use this little raven right here just there and all you do is you press down on it so you take out the middle layer of the thermo paper and you press down here just like that so all you're doing basically is just tracing the design that you want onto the paper and what we'll see in a second is that when you press down with the thermal paper the um, image that you're doing will come out onto the thermal paper so if you see a design that you like you, you don't even need to be able to draw you can just trace over the top of it the only thing that you need to make sure is that you do press down hard enough for that image to come come through. That's the only thing you've got to make sure. So, there we go. Let's see how that works. so you can see see on there on the paper that uh, those those two images have come through. And what we do next is if I flick this bit of paper up now you probably would go to more to the side so that way you don't waste a whole piece of paper but there's the image there I just went to the middle of the paper because I'm having problems judging what about to do stuff and then you just cut your design out on that piece of paper. Now the paper that I actually use for my banners is not really paper, it's the, I've explained to you guys before, it's the inside of a packet of cigarettes. So don't take up smoking, for God's sake, don't take up smoking, it's a bad habit. Um, but all I did was take the inside of a packet of cigarettes oops that's no good that was off camera oh God. and take some of your green soap now this is a lot easier to do if you've got um, roll on deodorant because you just put some of that out there much easier to do with roll on deodorant because the roll on deodorant just comes you just roll it where you want it 
but that's just a bit of green, so I'll just bump the camera there. This is a lot harder to do than what I thought it actually. Oh, knocking stuff over all over the all over the shop here. So, so I've got a bit of green soap on there now. Then I take my design that I'm using that I want to put onto the, the banner paper. Now let's see if I can do this so you guys can see without bumping everything over. And I'll pop it there. And you just press down onto the paper that's got the green soap on. It's important that you don't smudge it and then you just lift it away and there's your design. So we'll just uh, wait a little bit and um, let that dry and then uh, we'll paint it in. So obviously the, the middle of the, the banner pole we're going to be looking at will be around here so when it goes onto the pole that'll be the middle and then we'll uh, work out a funky design for the for the actual pole but uh yeah i'll just wait for that to dry and um yeah we'll get to painting so now that's dry all i've done is just um cut down the piece of paper in half just so it's a little bit easier to manage while I um, paint the designs on that I want and you just use any sort of paint that you want I'm going to use um, base coat first up of um, Abaddon Black now I undercoated with Wraithbone um, from Games Workshop in the in the spray can um, you can do a white or anything like that. Uh, the design's a bit hard to see if you do do them in a uh, in a dark undercoat. So the lighter the undercoat, the better. Um, if you want a black banner, then yeah, you may have to um, you may have to paint the black in. But um, I'm happy with this bone bone color for the um, for the actual background. So. All I've done now is you just paint the design in and that's just as easy as going over it again just with a paintbrush just nice and easy nice and careful to just paint the design in onto the banner so that way it's done and you can do once you've got the, the outline and the design in, you can um, do some little ibbly bits just to for more detail and stuff. You can extend the, the wing, um, like this wing here, I'll square it off a little bit more, I think. Oop, that was close. Really stuffed it up on my first video telling you guys how easy this is and then I nearly stuffed it so and down the back where the wing is and like miniatures and that you can um, highlight do a little bit of highlighting and stuff just to um, yeah blend it in a little bit better there's that little half moon and the eye, don't forget the eye. Actually, we might do the eye in a um, just a blob of white, I think. So, we've done that, we've inked it in, painted it in, and now we just fill that in. Now, I don't know if you can see, but on the um, on the actual paper, the um, the type of paper that I'm just going to turn that sideways a little bit because I just dipped my hand in me in me paint that I was using on the side of the palette um, I didn't realize how hard it was actually to paint on camera with this thing <laughs> recording it's um, a bit daunting actually <laughs> but I don't know what this is the first time I've done it, so you live, you learn. And yeah, pop that on. But yeah, you can 
undercoat in any colour you want, but yeah, I recommend lighter colours, so that way you can actually see the design, so you can paint it and ink it in. But, um, yeah, so you just take your time, just ink it in. And this method, you can, you can do anything you see, any picture you see, even without being able to draw. Which I know a lot of people have a uh, a thing about. Oh, I can't draw. I can't draw. But this technique and this way, you can do any design that you see that you like that you think. Well, you know what? That'd make a really cool banner. You can do that. Just print it off, put it on the thermograph paper, and away you go. All right. So that's one side inked in. Yeah, I'll get on to the other side, but uh, I'll come back for that one. And uh, what do you say? So there we are. The other side's inked in now. Um, looking good. But yeah, as I was saying, if you see any design that you like on either in a magazine or on a book or on a website or anything like that, you can have that that design on a banner for your for your Warhammer armies. Now I know that the, for example, the um, Warhammer Armies book has a heap of really good examples for um, Warhammer for banners in there, in, like in the different sections for the armies. Um, I do know that and they do look really really good and um, yeah so that's that's always something you can do um, just adding a little bit of white now to both sides so that I can ink in the eye um, touch up that section just there so I can work an eye in Touch up this. Oh, you guys can't see that. Twit. Apologies, this is the first time I've been <laughs> I've ever done this on this. What this with a um something holding the camera and I have to admit it's um quite good actually. Um I think I'll be doing a few more videos with like painting videos and stuff like that, like this. Um, that's where the, the wing comes down, so let's pop a little couple of lines in there, there's another couple of lines in there for the other side, might even do, uh, just to note that as the tail, goes over there, Looking all right. Looking pretty good. Just a couple of highlights around where the claws would be. There's the claws. So happy with that. Now all it's a matter of doing now is just. Uh, cutting the design out to the size of the spear um, or pole or banner or anything that you've, that you've made for for your trooper he's going to be your standard bearer and a real focal point to the regiment um, I think that's the, the thing that I miss with um, 40k is the, the focal point of the um, the banner bearers like, so sergeants and stuff do have do have that on there but yeah you know what I mean it's just yeah it's just different with um a blocked up regiment that's got a nice nicely painted banner um they just yeah they look the bees knees they always always do look the bees knees and always will and if you want last thing you can do now because I undercoated in Wraithbone, I've noticed just there, there's a couple little spots where I um, 
stuffed up with the black so you can just re-undercoat those so that way it doesn't show up as much just paint that in very nicely even just dot it so that way it, you get the shape that you want there you go I am um, going to do, I'm going to cut this out now, and then, so this is just a simple, real simple little design, um, it's not really that spectacular, honestly, not like the ones in the Warhammer rulebook, like uh, the Mother Crushers, um, if anybody ever remembers that, like, uh, I still remember the first time I saw that banner. Because, uh, yeah, the Mother Crush's banner was, was quite good and it was, um, yeah, it just looks spectacular. It's the one with like a, an orcish hand squeezing a heart. Hmm. Which is quite ironic, actually, seeing as how it just had a heart attack. But there you go. Inspiration. But, um, yeah, when I get around to doing my orc army, that's uh, definitely going to be one that I sort of do something like that now with this I just want to just whack some runes in um, just so it's a bit more vikingy so whack in a couple of runes a T at the top then an O this is from the um, Thuthark um, I really do a lot of study and um, stuff before I start painting an army. Always done that. That's the that's the geeky nerd in me. Is it the a Barocco? Whatever, it's, whatever that rune is called. And, um, just do a. Yeah. Right, so that's it. So it's yeah, nice and simple. Um, easy banner. This was yeah, just a quick tutorial just to show you how I do it. So next thing's next. I'll cut it out, but I'll do that off off camera because I think it's going to be a little bit hard to to cut it like this. But it won't be long. So I've cut that out and lined it with the um, spear for the for the Norse standard bearer that I've painted up for my Huskles um, I didn't realize how short <laughs> the spears actually were so <laughs> it, um, yeah, it uh, ended up looking like that so there's a quick little regimental banner for my Huskles that um, it's been done and that method you can use it with anything you don't have to be limited on not being able to draw now the good thing about uh, PVA glue and this type of um, paper is that when you've got it on the on the pole the way you want it you can bend waves in it You can bend it any way you want and it's not going to tear or come apart at the seams or anything like that. So you can do it so that it's really, really fluttering in the wind or any way you want. The only thing you will need to do is if you don't line it up properly, you will have to take a little bit of... Um, of your base coat and just paint around the edges just so that the silver part's not not shining through there just there so I'll just up, um, update that and fix that and yeah this guy is got a standard ready for 
ready for battle against the undead when the battle report comes. Now I've only got um, I've got five on the painting table right now, and I've got another eight to paint. Then just got a basin, uh, two more forests to finish, and yeah, we're done. And we're ready for our first battle report now. I don't know if this cradle is going to be good enough for that, but um, yeah, hopefully. But um, yeah, and that's how I do my uh, banners for Old Hammer for beginners. Anyone can do it. Anyone can do it at all. Just hope that's all in focus and everything. But yeah, we'll get this uploaded and uh, out there so that way you guys can can see. But um, yeah. Get a shot of him. There he is with the banner. And I have to admit that does look it looks heaps better with a nice banner. I'm looking forward to doing the Empire actually because they've got pikes, so you can really go to town on the size of the banner because the uh, yeah the poles for the pikes are just so much longer for the spears, but. Uh, yeah, looking good. Awesome. We'll get this uploaded and uh, out there so you guys can see just how easy it is to do nice-looking old hammer banners for all your armies, and you don't even need to be able to draw. So, thanks for watching and uh, climbing that old hammer mountain ever ever onward, and uh, stay cool, stay old hammer. <laughs>